the saint is there to, to, to render service. And I think it, it begs us to, to understand the existence of the different technologies that allow the researchers to have a better output that is created by us. The acquisition of new equipment uh, in, in a DG, in a VITS digitization center, comprises of a, a variety of, of equipment that is fit for purpose. I mean, you must bear in mind that we are dealing with uh, a lot of fragile material. You're dealing with uh, maps, uh, large format maps, you're dealing with historical books, you're dealing with recent prints, you're dealing with photographic material, you're dealing with prints, you're dealing with fabrics. Um, and objects, artifacts in fact. So when I started uh, procuring the equipment I had to think and wrap my head around what sort of equipment would complement what records or cultural heritage materials the university has. I had, uh, then started with one which is the copybook A1 uh, and then you had the quartz A0 and then the V-shape uh, copybook. Then for large format, obviously, you had the context, uh, which is a large format uh, scanner, which is a roller uh, scanner. Um, now, the reason for the combo uh, in, in this respect, for instance, if I had to say to you, uh, we've got a map that has to be digitized. This map has got three meters by six meters or even two meters by six meters. When you look at the quartz, the quartz is an A0, and we wouldn't be able to scan that on a quartz. And if we did that, we had to stitch, meaning that you had to scan that in sections. Now that, are, that in itself, it's time consuming. It's not really, uh, it's slightly counterproductive. So in order to fast track that and reduce the time of production, we then have the context. Now with the phase one, your environment is quite important. You have to be in a dark room. And you know, the phase one constitutes of a, a case stand where a camera is mounted and a, a table where you will put all the objects that you want to digitize. So that the DT atom, as you call it, is a phase one system with 150 megapixels camera. I mean, if you look at, at a lot of the photographic material that may come from, from the upper tape times, uh, if you stick to standards and you digitize them to the highest standard possible, you are giving the researcher the ability to not only just to look at that image in that particular context, but you are allowing him to zoom into the image and pick up details that he was not really aware of. So again, these are avenues that are available to us in the DG Center that will allow for, for researchers to pick up extra information that is of importance for their research.